to solve this, you could put a 1 underneath here and cross multiply. But let's do it a different way. You are able to get rid of fractions by multiplying both sides by the denominators. Well, so what I mean by that is if I take this denominator and multiply both sides by it, fractions tend to disappear. Watch this. So if I multiply both sides by 2x minus 5, because you're allowed to multiply both sides by anything. It's part of algebra. That's what we do. We multiply both sides by things. We divide both sides by things. Do you notice that those two disappear now? Because when you multiply the left side by, it goes on top, and now it divides out, leaving us 2 equals. See how 2 is left on the left side? On the right side, can't you distribute 8x minus 20? Now are all fractions bye-bye. And it is a pretty easy solve. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little trick. Multiply by the denominators. So now we add 20 over. Just going to finish solving this problem. 22 equals 8x. Divide both sides by 8. And we get x equals 22 divided by 8 reduces. 2 goes into both, so that's 11 Force. That's your answer. But restrictions. Well, our restrictions are what would make the denominator zero. Some of you can tell right away that's not 11 fourths, so we don't have to worry about it. But let me write it down. My restrictions are when 2x minus 5 equals zero. So solve that. We add 5 to both sides. 2x equals 5. Divide both sides by 2. So x equals 5 over 2. 5 over 2 is a restriction, meaning it'd be error. If this was 5 over 2, it'd be an error, and we have no answer. But since it does not, the, the restriction doesn't affect this, we're good. Our answer is 11 fourths.